All right, good morning everyone. So it is day four now, it's about 8 a.m. Um, so tonight, last night was interesting, for sure. Um, so you probably saw in the last vlog that we ended up uh, sleeping and we as, you know, about 20 to 25 hikers or something, ended up sleeping in a restaurant. So, the, the owner of the restaurant was super nice to us. She understood, you know, that the weather was real bad. I mean, it's hailing right now. And we're supposedly in a desert. So, it's not great. But, you know, we just take it as it comes. Got all our rain gear on and stuff. I'm um, hiking by myself at the moment. Cameron went up ahead, probably left about 20 minutes before I did. Uh, a couple of other people, Arrow and, and such, are back still at the restaurant. Um, but they'll probably be setting off soon because the restaurant actually opens soon. <laughs> so, yeah, they kind of have to head on. But uh, we're walking back to the trail right now. So it's not super interesting. It's walking along the side of the road. Because uh, the Mount Lagoon is not right on the trail. It's like you can take an alternate trail, which takes you right through Laguna. But, but it's basically all road. So that's what we've done now. So it loops back around onto the PCT and adds about a mile to the total journey. But that's not too bad. Everyone was doing their resupplies because the next town that we could resupply out feasibly is, I think, Julian or Warner Springs. Those are the two options. That depends whether how many miles you want to do per day. Um, but I'm thinking, I think, you know, I don't know where I'm stopping, but I've got enough food for about three and a half, four days. Um, but the biggest worry at the moment is according to gut hooks, there's a 30 to 40 mile water carry, um, unless you're relying on caches, which you know you shouldn't do because they might not have any water in them. <laughs> so kind of important to, um, you know, camel up and carry out as much water as you can. So at the moment I'm toting about two liters of water to the trail because there are a few water refill spots that we could go to before that water carry. And yeah, other than that, I mean, oh yeah, my, my, my ankle's doing much better this morning. Woke up and did some stretches and like, no pain at all, so I think I'm going to go for another 20 mile or today. Um, still got the ankle braces on, uh, just in case, you know, there's some tough terrain or anything, but it should be okay, to be honest with you. Um, I was quite worried yesterday that it wouldn't be, I'd have to take a couple days off. I'm so happy I didn't have to do that, but stopping yesterday probably, probably helped, but... Like I said, the weather here has been terrible. Sub-zero last night, close to it the night before. It's hailing now, and it's supposedly a desert, so we're just gonna try and push for that 20 miles and get down the mountain. Should be a lot warmer, but I'll keep you updated. Peace out. All right, guys, so still day four, and we just passed the uh, mile marker 52 there, so. Two miles done by the early day four. That's not too bad. And uh, thank fuck the sun looks like it's starting to come out now. It's fucking blowing a gale earlier. Some real cold weather. Uh, but uh, it's warmed up a bit now. I took uh, my day slayer off. So now I've just got my, uh, my synthetic top on and my shell standard hiking trousers here. But yeah, my, uh, my ankle's still doing fine. I've done almost 12 miles today. And uh, yeah, it's just doing pretty good. Doesn't feel sore or anything. About of my feet are still hurting, but that just happens in these shoes, I'm pretty sure. At this point, I mean, this, they did this back at home. Walk about too long in one night with these on. I think 
do kale, but in the morning. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for a 20 mile over today. Okay. Especially considering I've managed to get almost 12 miles out of the way already. So I've got a little, another incline here. And then I think this is the last sort of incline before we get down some serious elevation because it is fucking freezing up here. It still looks like a lot of cloud cover and fog rolling in. Probably can't see over there. There's a lot of fog rolling in. You can see up ahead. It's pretty open and clear. Looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy for this softer trail here. We've got small small pebbles and sandy type gravel which you know in these shoes is kind of nice to walk on but uh yeah still doing good on water um still you know walking by myself today past a couple of people have to chat with them but I'm thinking I'm pushing on need to make up for that Nero we had yesterday and uh 20 mile days. We'll see the future. And we are keep up in. Peace. Hey guys, it's, uh, just a quick update. Um, haven't gone much further since the last video, um, but I just stopped here in the shelter of this bush to get out the wind and have a look at my water situation. So I've still got about two liters of water left. Um, and uh, I plan on camping at mile 59.6 or something tonight, which happens to be a water source. I mean, that's kind of why I chose it earlier today. Um, but uh, I've just had another look further on, and it's a bit concerning because the next reliable water source after tonight's stop is 42 miles. Yeah, 42 miles. So it's a bit of a carry. Um, it's doable. I mean, I have a six liter capacity at the moment, um, but it's going to be a push for sure. I'm going to have to do, you know, like two 21 mile days. That's giving me three liters a day. I mean, it's doable. It's going to be, it's going to be tough. Um, I guess I'll just have to camel up tomorrow morning and, and uh, hope that the water caches uh, do have water. I mean, because there are some supposed water sources on the way it's just you can't really rely on water caches and stuff because they have to be filled by people manually and and people don't do it very often and just stuff like that it's, it's just not a good idea to rely on those that's how you die so yeah we're just gonna have to see how that goes but it's really fucking windy it's blowing like 30 mile an hour winds up here I've just put my down jacket back on to stay warm um but I'm going to see if I can get up this trailhead because actually, I'm looking at it now, it's only half 12 and I've already done like, what is it, like 14 miles? Which is pretty good considering the weather and stuff. Um, so if I can get up to this 20 mile stretch where I'm camping and get some water, hydrate it through the night, you know, and stuff like that, or maybe even walk on tonight, we'll see. And then uh, I'll do another video later on just to let you know what, what the plan is. Um, I'm sure, I haven't seen Cameron in a while, he's probably up ahead too. He was planning on camping in the same spot anyway, so I'll probably see him there later. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what the plan is. We'll have a, you know, a little chat about it and see what the best plan is. But I'll definitely keep you updated about that. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. So it's uh, a little later on day four. Um, been hiking pretty much all day, like no breaks or anything. Like I stopped there about ten minutes ago. This is the last water source on the trail for about forty miles, so carrying a lot of water. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm gonna push it and get to Scissors Crossing, which is a road that. Um, leads to Julian, which is a decent sized town, um, which I'm probably going to go to anyway, because I could do some more food, I mean, I could make it to 
Warner Springs with the food I have. But I've heard Warner Springs isn't great, you know, on prices and stuff for food. And, and it probably doesn't have, you know, a great selection. Also, Julian has Wi-Fi, which would be nice. Um, update the water report and stuff like that and update gut hooks. Because mine's getting a bit outdated here. It uh, would have been Sunday. And today is day four, so it's Wednesday. So, you know, water sources can change quite rapidly, so I need to get things like the water report and gut hooks updated. Um, also, I could upload some of these vlogs I've been making. I mean, at this point, I haven't even uploaded day one's uh, vlog yet. The only one I've uploaded is the one at Scout Frodo. So, at the moment, I'm walking. I'm about mile 61, so I've done about a 20 mile day already, and it's about 3 o'clock p.m. So, my feet are pretty sore, and I was going to stop there at 59, but the campground was super fucking open, and the weather's been so shit today. It's super windy, super cold probably why I've done so many miles, I haven't really wanted to stop for a break, I'm so hungry, um, but yeah, uh, next campsite's 61, it's about another mile, that one supposedly according to gut hooks is still super open, so the likelihood is, is that we're going to push to 63, which would end this day in about 20 pretty fucking far and hopefully that's a good stop spot with nice cover and stuff so we don't get blown away in the night uh, again I don't know it's been an enjoyable day though um, got a lot of miles in and stuff so we're, uh, we're doing well my feet aren't killing me that bad the bottom of my feet as always are pretty sore that's just because of the style of shoe I've got. My right heel is starting to feel a bit funny. It's not quite painful. I feel like if I push it too much, I'll end up like my left foot was yesterday. And so I'm going to try and have to keep it safe with that. Um, but yeah, the moment's been pretty enjoyable. There were some good views when the clouds parted for a couple seconds. But for the majority of it, super cold we were looking at the floor I was looking at the floor I've hiked most of the day by myself um, and uh, yeah it's been a pretty good day just because of the amount of miles we could do and things um, yeah so I'll keep you updated guys see you later